Today's storms may have brought back some frightening memories from the April 27th storms. Since those storms hit our area, many people have rebuilt their homes but made them better to prepare for Mother Nature. WFF 48 Shamiriel Ratliff spoke to an April 27th survivor. Shamiriel, she uh, still had a little storm anxiety today. That's right, Kim. Julianne Rodriguez was a little apprehensive watching the sky today and paying close attention to the weather. She says when Mother Nature misbehaves, she glad, she's glad she has a place in her home that's safe to hide. Julianne Rodriguez looks outside at the dark, ominous sky and remembers. The anxiety was through the roof. Um, you really, you always hear about tornado, tornado watches, warnings, but you never really anticipate how bad it's going to be. Since the April 27th, 2011 tornadoes blew through her home in Anderson Hills. Everything, everything was gone, everything. She's rebuilt her home and added a potentially life-saving addition. The storm shelter holds about eight people. We do have um, sticky flashlights that stick up, up against the wall and the ceiling. There is a wench in here in case something were to fall down onto the door, you can pry it open. We also have a safety box underneath the stairs. Rodriguez says it didn't take long for many homes in the area to be ripped apart and left as rubble after hiding in a closet during the storms nearly two years ago. I think it was a shock to most because when you do hear tornado warning, people just tend to brush it off. So when it hit and it hit hard, um, I think it kind of sent everybody into a state of shock and I think you really get a sense of respect for the weather. She's happy to have something to help keep her family safe. It is a sense of comfort. Again, it's still a little nerve wracking because you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, Mother Nature can take a turn in an instant. Rodriguez says since that storm, many of her neighbors that chose to build back also have storm shelters in their homes. Reporting live in the newsroom, Shamiriel Ratliff, WAFF 48 News.